Hey everybody, this is Mark Zerk, and I'm back. So, just want to show you a little bit of what I have done to the house so far. Yeah, it's getting there. I've set myself up a little bit of farms, some wheat, some uh, sugar cane, and carrots so that I can get by without having to rely on apples from the trees I've dropped. I also have a tree farm I set up, which is over here. I'll give you a little look at that. It's just a small, little bit of like tiny operation, nothing big. Oh, come on. Nice spiders. Oh, that guy just jumped right at me. I hear a zombie somewhere too. Okay. Here. So this is the tree farm right here. Nothing fancy or anything. Ten trees at a time. But it works good. I've been getting quite a bit of wood off of it. Enough to get my house done for sure. Okay, let's go back. Oh, I still got a couple things I have to take down. Made some accidents. I'll take them down after. Let me just give you a look around in here. In the inside, this is what it looks like now. I have all these doors here because I made too many when I was making them and decided I'd just put them along here so uh, zombies and stuff don't come inside. Change the stairway as you can see. And I changed upstairs a little bit too. I haven't put any windows in yet, but I will once I figure out where I want to put them. The closet's bigger now. Let's the other side. Probably a spider on the roof, I think. Let's go get him. Oh no, he's down there. This is the roof. You can see the light coming out through the cracks here, which kind of gives it a pretty cool effect, I think. <laughs> yeah, but this is it so far. So anyways, today what I have planned is I'm going to build a mob spawner system. Can be really, really, really deep into the ground. Well, where did he come from? How do you even get in there? Well, maybe he climbed up through there. Weird. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna create a mob spawner system deep underground. Ooh, creeper. So, uh, yeah, let's go. I'll show you where I'm going to do it. I haven't decided how I'm going to do it yet or how I'm going to make the pads or whatever. There's lots of different designs out there, so I'm not sure which one works best or not. And at the beginning, it's not going to work too well anyways because I need to light up a lot of caves and stuff around to get rid of the mobs. Maybe I'll sell some stone here so I can... Uh, Fill in holes and stuff and keep it looking nice. So, anyways, this is where I'm going to build it. Right here. This will be the entrance. I'll probably have this part cut out and then turn into uh, glass so you can see the mobs dropping in. No, it's probably. I think that this is where they're gonna drop right here. So I'll turn all this into stone. I'm gonna turn this into stone here. And yeah, that's what it's where this is gonna be. So this will turn be part of my underground network of whatever I'm gonna build. Probably get some green down here, make it look nice. 
eventually. We'll see. I got I used I had a world on the Xbox that I was working with on my uh it was on my brother's Xbox we were playing together. And uh yeah, we created this underground biome which is really cool. I think I might take that idea and use it under here. Yeah, it was a really cool idea. So anyways, I'm going to start working on this and then I'll get back with an update on how things are going. So I'll see you guys soon. Hey, I'm back. So I have gotten to the level of where they're going to drop them. And uh, yeah, this is this time of my spawn, where my spawning pads are going to be. I'm pretty far up, up from where I was. Uh, I can't remember exactly how far it is that the mobs have to drop the guy. I think it's like 27, but yeah, hopefully it is. That's what I'm going to start with, and I think it will work. I can hear a bunch of mobs all around me. I think there's actually a dungeon somewhere around here. It sounds like there's a lot of zombies, so yeah, I'm gonna dig this out. I don't know exactly how big I want to make this yet. I don't know, there's a couple styles that I've seen for uh, making mod pads and stuff, and I don't know which one I want to do or if I want to try and do my own or not. But, uh,. Yeah, I think I might do the. Uh, there's one where you you'll have like your uh, water in the middle like this, and right here, and like right here, and then you'll have an eight by eight pad here, and then another one here, and another one in the corner here, and then you lay down uh, slabs in a certain way so that spiders don't spawn inside, and then they mobs just walk off the eight by eight pad and fall in the water and get pushed to the hole here. I might do that. It seems like it might be a way that will work really well. Another one I've seen that works really well is actually from uh, Etho. I've seen a tutorial video that he has and it's to do a room that's 29 from this side to this side and then 29 from the middle on this side to this side and it kind of makes a uh, like a clover shape or something like that or and then uh, you have like small pads uh, three by three like this and then with a slab right on the middle that one uh, I think might work really well it might be a way it might go I haven't decided yet in any case I'll continue working on it and then show you guys what I've decided to do and I'll be back. What's up everybody? So uh, this is what I've got so far. Uh, I've actually started building a ladder up this way so that I can get up and down on here. And these are the pads which will have slabs right here. One slab and then <coughs> Gonna be two, one more higher than this, and then uh, it's gonna look like like this is the corner right here. So it's gonna look like this all the way through. Water right here, water right here, and it should all flood to the middle without any problems. But yeah, this is what I've been building building so far. I'm just trying to go off the memory of the one I had seen before. So. I don't know if it's exactly the same or not, or how it's going to work, but hopefully it does work. One idea I do have to change it a little bit is that I'm going to just keep the one floor for now. And once I can get some redstone lamps and stuff, I'm actually going to have a, like a ladder system on the outside somewhere to allow me to access every floor and then I have a redstone lamps in the roof as a like uh, like to turn it off or whatever so that I can do like uh, changes to it or if I want to do a new floor I can climb up and 
start on the next floor and be able to turn off from this floor and uh, like take out anything I need to take out to start on to the next floor without getting mobbed by a bunch of mobs. <laughs> uh, yeah, right now I'm just doing this design again over here. I think, or maybe, yeah, this is where it's supposed to be. I went too far. <clears throat> so, just put this in, make my wall. Spots will have two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, one. There should be eight per pad, which will give me quite a bit. Something around in the hundred and twenties or so. I'm not sure. I would actually have to have the pads down and turn it out. But that's the way it's going to look. And hopefully it works out well. I mean, it's not going to work too good right now because there's not a lot of cave systems I haven't lit up. And there's a ravine by my place I haven't lit up, which is near that ravine. Just, there's so much that I need to do in order to get this going, like, optimally. Optimize it. Yeah, should work out okay. I'm not. I might not actually have this finished today on this video, but I will finish it. And there's a couple other things I'm gonna move on to for my next video. So <clears throat> hopefully that will be uh, done by then. If not, then it's not. But I want to try to have it done today so that I can have this mob system up and going and be able to collect uh, gunpowder for TNT. It makes it so much easier to do caving or opening up areas if you can just blow it out. Yeah. And also so I can create a uh, bone meal and get extra arrows that I don't need to create from using gravel and stuff. Yeah, then it should be all good. And this piece right here actually is can be used as a pad. It counts as a pad that a mob can spawn on and then it'll just fall off and into the water. Yeah, but this isn't my design. This is actually the design from Etho. And I've tried it once before in another world and it worked out really good. Like better than the other system I had actually built in the same place. And I did his pad because mine wasn't doing so well so I, had, I was checking out to see what was wrong with it. And I came across his video and tried out his pad, his idea, and it worked out great. So that's why I'm using it this time. redstoning that I'll be doing to put the lights in. I'll just do that on my own. I'm not the best, but I know how to make it. I'll be able to make it work. It won't be fancy or any kind of like tricks or anything like that. I'll probably just pretty much use a like a redstone tower or a red torch tower to go up behind one of the walls, which will connect uh, the lamps through repeaters and uh, redstone dust. Just simple and easy. Nothing fancy. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I don't know all the, like the tricks with redstone and 
all the fancy stuff you can do with it. I just know how to use it plain and simple and make how to make things work by doing it that way. I do know I know how to build a few things like a T flip flop and the RS nor latch and a mono stable circuit and an AND gate. I know how to use like build those things, but I don't use them too often at all. Unless I really need it for like a piston door, I want it or a pressure plate door. If I want to keep it open, I'll use T a T flip flop that way. But other than that, I don't really use those kind of things in my builds. Just enough to make it work, and that's it. So uh, I'm going to continue on this and try to get as much as I can done, and then I'll show you guys some more. So I'll be back. Hey everybody, so I was going through and checking it out, like laying down the water just to see how it was working and I realized I had done something wrong because the water wasn't reaching to where it should be and I had changed it a little bit. All I did is I shortened this side and now this is what it's going to look like when it's all done. Alright, now I am just a couple pads away and then I just gotta uh, make another layer on each of these and then throw in the water and get out take out the light and it'll be done so it's almost there I think I'm gonna finish this just today and get this on the episode today since it's so close yeah I'm gonna do a speed through on the rest of the footage of me building this so you can see everything I'm doing while I'm doing it. So hope you enjoy seeing that. So uh here it goes. Well, that's it. I hope it works. We'll see you soon enough. There is no light up there, so only thing to do is just sit here and wait. Maybe I can get some glass, spruce this up, but that can wait for now. Let's just wait and see if it works. Nothing yet. This might take a while because I need to. Uh, uh, we're too close to, or we haven't uh, lit, lit up enough of the caves around, so could take a little while before we get anything up there. Let's see what happens though. We'll go away for a little bit, go check some things out. Let's see, put this stuff in here. Take this with us. All the goodies. And bring it back to the base. Keep the 
The ladders down here may need this for caving later on. Okay, let's move on. Now hopefully it works. And things start working on it and the mobs start falling down. Start being able to collect what they have. And be useful for us. <clears throat> yeah, it takes like if you want it to work really well you need to have a good amount of levels maybe five or so so it's not going to be a whole lot of mobs dropping through just one level of pad yeah, this farm's been a blessing it's really helped out a lot even having this uh, sugar cane here too, I think I have enough to get the um, enchanted table. So it's it's been useful. Okay, let's see. Get this in there. Put the iron in there. Oh yeah, we need need we uh, need to make more tools, more pickaxes too. Yeah, next episode I plan on going to get some animals to start farming meat and leather and stuff like that so we can make books. Yeah. So we're gonna, look, we're gonna go looking for cows, we're gonna look for some sheep to bring here and look at getting more eggs in case we don't get anything from this. The chickens. Yeah, so it will be a lot of work to do on the next episode. Okay. Now to see... Okay, I'll just leave that there for now. But first, let's grab this. Wheat. Yeah, one thing I'll really want to do is get a villager here too. And the villagers will actually make sure your crops don't wither and live in your place. They're near. So we'll get with get a villager and get a uh, golem to protect them and protect my doors and stuff from zombies. Okay. Okay. Let's go see if it worked. Let's see if anything's dropped on it yet. A long ways down, so there's lots of rooms to put up those floors without it peeking out. Oh, nothing's dropped down it yet. Mm. No mobs have grown in it, I don't think. I don't know for sure or not if I would need to do this or not, but maybe I have built this overground. I don't know how well. I've never seen one that was actually built underground without like the actual chambers being above ground. So I don't know if it will work like that or not. Like this. I'm hoping it does. Because this is the way I want it. But I don't see why mobs wouldn't spawn in there. If anyone knows anything leave a comment below and let me know if there's a reason or anything mobs wouldn't spawn up in there. Mm. Well, anyways, let's continue on working on that and work out any kinks or move it if I have to above ground and I will see you guys next time, so thank you for watching, and yeah, thank you. <laughs>